If I ask what the body is mainly made of, most people would rightly answer water. But what's the second most abundant component of the human body? Proteins. Indeed, 20% of the human body is made of proteins, and they represent 15% of each of the trillions of cells. Without them, life couldn't exist. Proteins build, maintain, and replace our muscles, organs, and immune system, for instance. There are a lot of different proteins with a lot of different shapes and functions. Protein can be seen as a pearl necklace. There are 24 kinds of pearls of different colors and sizes. Let's assume that the thread used to assemble the pearls is a wire. It is then possible to fold parts of the necklace with different shapes, such as zigzags or helix, for instance. In biology, the pearls are called amino acids. The chain of amino acids is called the primary structure of the protein. Instead of zigzag and helix, the shapes are called alpha helix, beta sheets, and coil if there is no specific shape. The association of those shapes is called the secondary structure of the protein. A beta strand is a stretch of amino acid. It may sound corny, but beta strands hate being single and need a partner to survive. Thus, if another strand is nearby, they get closer and hold hands to straighten their bond. Those bonds are called hydrogen bonds. Beta strands are quite open-minded and can compare to hippies as they enjoy free love and usually interact with two different strands. Several beta strands can thus interact with each other, and this happy community is called a beta sheet. Sometimes, two beta strands from different proteins can fancy each other and decide to interact. Thus, they'll create a beta sheet interface. Those interfaces can lead to a long-term relationship or end up really quickly. Nevertheless, some couples are more traditional than others, even amongst hippies. If two strands are looking in the same direction, they're defined as parallel. However, if two less conventional strands find themselves being upside down, they're called anti-parallel. In parallel beta sheets, bonds tend to have a V-shaped conformation, while the ones involved in anti-parallel beta sheets tend to have a ladder shape. Ladder shaped bonds usually are the more stable ones. Who said love was about looking in the same direction? But it's not all rosy in the world of hippie beta strands. Sometimes strands can develop a kind of love addiction that will make them interact with more and more partners from different proteins without being able to control themselves. As a result, all the protein victims will do their normal function and aggregate, leading to the formation of a large aggregate called amyloid fibrils. The formation of amyloid fibrils is involved in many human diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, type 2 diabetes, atherosclerosis or cataract, for instance. I guess too much of a good thing can really be a bad thing, right?